The series of explosions happened at about 7.40 this morning. They happened in a city called Taiwan. I've actually been in Taiwan before. It's a coal mining city in Shanxi province. And uh, one witness said that he heard seven blasts. It was outside a Communist Party government building. Uh, there were ball bearings found on the ground shortly after the attack. And as you said, one person has died. Eight people have been injured. We don't have much more information, though, at this time. Uh, Shannon, what can we say at this stage about who might be behind this attack? Well, there are a range of options. You know, China has had three uh, basic, uh, basically explosions or, or unusual incidents in the last several months. There was a man who blew himself up at the Beijing airport this past July. He turned out to be a protester, a petitioner who had been protesting about a series of, of problems over the course of the last several years. And he, he uh, detonated, a bomb, de detonated a bomb at the Beijing airport in sort of a, a final attempt, desperate plea for help. Uh, of course, last week, we had a car crash in Tiananmen Square which killed five people. That the Chinese government is blaming on the Uyghurs, which is a Muslim ethnic minority in China's westernmost Xinjiang province. Uh, there are many protests in Xinjiang province over religious freedom and what the Uyghurs say is cultural genocide. So who or what could be behind this morning's explosions? Uh, we'll just have to wait and see.